Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian at Talk Android, and I'm here with Kate from Motorola. We're looking at the Moto X finally. It's been leaks and leaks and leaks for months, and we finally get to see it. There's a bunch of different colors, 18 that's available to you to choose from. We'll get more into that, but Kate is going to show us, tell us a little bit about the phone, and show us some of the features. Yeah, great. So I have today with me a Moto X that I've custom designed. Um, it's got a wonderful curved back. You can see it over here. Um, and we've designed it to fit really comfortably in your hand. We've also got a beautiful display. It's a 4.7 inch display. When I turn it on, you can see how much of the display takes up the front of the device. Um, we've got a 10 megapixel camera on the back, a 2 megapixel camera in the front, um, and it comes with 16 gigabytes of memory. And you have the, uh, in this display, a 720p, correct? That's correct. And you have the X8 processor? That's right. Which we, we talked about with the droids last week? That's right, with the X8 mobile. Yep. And that's basically an S4 Pro yeah. dual core, uh, an Adreno 320 four core and a core for contextual and a core for language. Yep, natural language processor. Okay. Exactly. Fantastic. Great. So I'll go ahead and show you some of the features that are offered here. The first one I'm going to show you is our touchless control feature. It's a voice feature which essentially allows you to use uh, Google Now with your without touching the phone. So all I have to say is, okay Google Now, and immediately it recognizes me and starts to uh, uh, recognize what I'm saying. And it's loud, uh, it's very loud in here too, and that's fantastic. There's a ton of ambient noise. Now, I've trained this device, okay Google Now, to react specifically to my voice. If you tried it, nothing would happen. Um, when you do train it, you'll want to train it in a quiet space. Yep. Okay, so let me show you some examples of how we've integrated this uh, hardware feature together with Google Now. Okay Google Now, navigate to Central Park. All right, and let me turn up the volume here. So you can actually hear. Yeah, we might not be able to pick up the sound. Of course, we know that Google now does speak to us back. Correct. Let's try one more example. Okay, Google now. Call Alicia. Calling Alicia on their mobile phone. And we'll try one more. I'm from San Francisco, and frequently I want to know uh, how my home team is doing. So, okay, Google now. How are the Giants doing? The Giants beat the Phillies 9 to 2. They are playing the Phillies today at 7:05 p.m. Nice. And if you and back in that call, if you hit the, if you got the wrong person, you could say cancel. Like if you're in your car. That's right. Okay, because you can right. hear them say who it's going to call, and you're like, oh, that's the wrong person. Cancel. Okay. Right. Right. So the next feature I'm going to show you uh, is the camera feature, um, and essentially what we've allowed you to do again is. How can you get to the camera as fast as possible without having to go through, oh, you know, you're turning it on, you're swiping, you're trying to get to the camera. So we've, we've uh, used a gesture for this, and it's a very simple twist of the hand and two twists. So essentially, you just go like this. Oh, sorry. And, and it's up and running, and you can see the great quality there. It will autofocus wherever I move. I can tap anywhere on the screen, and when I tap, it will automatically focus. And you can hold it down for burst shooting, right? That's right. And I'll show that as well. So I'll go ahead and tap here. And I will hold it down, and you'll see the burst shooting happening. Okay. And you have a little menu on the left-hand side. Too, That's right? right. So I'm going to show you some of the settings here. So over here are the settings. We've taken them out of the main screen so that they don't really get in your way. Um, you can turn off the shutter sound. You can actually turn off the, the gesture if you don't want to use it. There's also HD video. Um, there's also the option to uh, focus where you tap. So if you don't like the autofocus and you want to do it yourself, you can turn this on. And essentially it will now focus where I want it to focus. So I want it to take a picture here, it's going to it's gonna actually focus on that. So what, I was looking through the camera, what do you do? You touch it to focus, then touch it again, or just... Uh... No, wherever you tap it, will actually focus there. And then take so, a picture, or... And then take a picture. Okay. So normally, if you have that uh, if, if you have that off anywhere you touch, it'll just auto-focus. Okay. But once you have that enabled, the place that you touch is the place that it focuses. Okay, gotcha. Great. 
So I'll go ahead and turn, turn that back off now. Okay, and then over to the right, if you swipe, you see the images that you just took. So now we're in the gallery, and we can see the images that we just took. And I took a lot of images because I was in burst mode. You're going to be deleting. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right, so the last feature that I'm going to show you um, is the always on notifications. I'm just going to set it up really quick. All right, I'm going to put it down right here. So I've just gotten a notification here, and, and, and when I flip the device over, immediately it's going to tell me the time, it's going to tell me the notifications that I have. Um, there's an ambient light sensor, so when it's in my pocket, it's not going to do uh, the, the fading, it's not going to show me anything on the display. So it flashes just like a notification light, the only difference is it gives you better information, so if it's sitting on your desk, you can see not only the time, which is fine, but you're going to see what notifications exactly. are, are waiting for you. Exactly, and when it fades back in, I'm going to show you how you can look at those notifications without doing a lot. Um, you just need to, to press the center, and some detail about the no notifications have shown up. So here it's uh, your text message, and then some more information about the, the other notifications here. And now, if I want to go a step further, I want to actually uh, go straight to the text message app. I can just swipe up, and I'm immediately in the text message app. So I don't have to fumble, I don't have to turn on the display, and then try to look for the app that I want. All of my information is right How here. How would you go to the missed call or one of those? I only saw the texting to the top. Right. So, um, in order to do that, we prioritize based on the, the latest notification that you can receive. Okay. So, that's the one that we're going to prioritize at the top. Okay. Fantastic. And those are the, the main features of Moto X. So, in ordering, if people can, uh, they're going to be able to get it on five different carriers. That's right. Um, starting sometime in the end of August, early September, depending on the carrier. $199 on contract. But they can also order uh, online. 18 different colors. You can also do change the accents. That's right. So it would be the power and volume button. Yeah, so... And um, the lens, around the lens. Yep. So at launch, we will be making a, uh, a, an online portal available where you can go and customize the device of your choice. It's getting a little yeah, loud right over here. Ever, ever um, little party here. You'll be able to choose from two front colors. White and black, right? White and black. And you'll be able to choose from 18 back colors. And then you'll also be able to choose the accent color, which is these buttons over on the side here, and then this ring. So whichever color, say you choose orange, then both your power keys and the ring around will be an orange color. And what's the on, what's that service called? Moto, what is it? It's called Moto Maker. Moto Maker. Now, that they mentioned it's going to be available at AT&T. Is it going to be available at all the carriers? Yes. Because they said that you could get a, um, a voucher to use online at AT&T, but what about the other carriers? Yes, so we're starting Moto Maker availability with AT&T, but we plan to bring it to other carriers later in the year. Okay, so on day one, if you're on Verizon, you wouldn't be able to order it through Moto Maker then, or you could still could, but you'd pay for it differently? Or On day one, you'll be able to buy a black and white device from Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, and U.S. Cellular. You'll also be able to buy the black and white device from AT&T, but in addition to that, you'll have the option for a Moto Maker device. Okay, and so you prepay for it at AT&T, and then you use the voucher, and then it gets delivered within four days. So you have two options. Either you can go into the store and pay for it in advance. Oh, okay. The advantage of in the store is that you get to actually see the, the physical samples of the backs. Um, or, alternatively, you could go directly online and buy your buy your device from the online experience. Great. And it will be delivered to you, like you said, in four days or less. Well, thank you very much, Kate. You're very welcome. Very good. We're, we're, I'm excited to play with it now. Great.